What makes Guild Wars 2 so special compared to other MMOs? I don't know if you guys have noticed lately, but it seems that everybody and their mother has been playing Guild Wars 2 lately, checking out this old MMO, seeing what it's all about, giving it another chance. But for many people, they weren't around or they had no interest in MMOs when Guild Wars 2 first came out. They don't even know what makes Guild Wars 2 different from, let's say, RuneScape, World of Warcraft, Final Fantasy, other popular MMOs. And so in this rather short video, I would like to go into the several things that makes Guild Wars 2 stand out compared to other MMOs. Number one, dynamic events. Guild Wars 2 features a dynamic event system in which events will occur organically out in the open world based on player actions. As you're leveling in Guild Wars 2, you will find these events all over the place. You'll be helping defend a farm from some bandits. You'll be helping to repair something. You'll be helping with all manner of things. And the best part is, typically these events will lead into other events. You might have an event that begins with you defending, let's say, a farm from some bandits, but slowly this sort of event storyline will progress to you actually fighting the bandit chieftain and taking down the bandit camp. And the cool thing about these events is they dynamically change the world. If, for example, you were to fail the event at defending that farm, that farm would be destroyed, and a whole new event would begin where you have to repair it. The dynamic event system in Guild Wars 2 makes leveling incredibly enjoyable because it adds a sense of unpredictability, excitement, and replayability to the level up experience in this game. People love it, and for good reason. Number two, no subscription fee. Just want to say this really fast, unlike many other MMOs, Guild Wars 2 does not require a monthly subscription fee. Players can buy this game once and play it as much as they desire without any additional costs. Now I know that this immediately is going to raise the question of, is Guild Wars 2 pay to win? And the answer to that question is, Yes, if fashion is your objective. Yeah, they had us the first half, I'm not gonna lie. Guild Wars 2 has a ton of cosmetic stuff to offer in regards to its cash shop, but in regards to making you permanently more powerful just by giving the developers a hundred dollars here or there, that doesn't exist in this game. It's the kind of subscription model or lack thereof that people appreciate. No subscription fee, you let players play the game, and the stuff that you can get are just minor convenience options as well as cosmetic stuff. Before we continue though, I do wanna give a quick shout out to this channel's sponsor, Zygor. If you are a World of Warcraft player and you're looking for the ultimate add-on for leveling, achievement farming, pet collecting, whatever you want, check out Zygor down in the description below. Give it a try. See if you like it. Much appreciated, guys. Big shout out to Zygor for helping us create the content here at Nixium. Number three, level scaling. Now this one's gonna be a little bit controversial, and I understand if there are comments down in the comments section that say that this is a really bad thing to each their own. Guild Wars 2 has a level scale system, and this means horizontal progression. In a game like World of Warcraft, for example, if you hit max level in the game and you go back to the starting areas or go back to, you know, just some of the early questing zones, you're obviously gonna be higher level, you're gonna be able to one-shot the mobs, so on and so forth. Guild Wars 2 doesn't work like this. Once you hit level 80, if you go back to starting areas or lower level quest zones, you're actually gonna be downscaled so that you can't just run around and one-shot things. The idea is that you can go back and actually experience this content and it's actually engaging. It's not something that you can just burn through, but there are a lot of people that aren't gonna like this because they want that progression of power. Now, if you are a lower level player, for example, as you traverse the world, you will find that there are zones that are going to be much higher level than you. This really just applies at max level, if this makes sense. Number four, a unique combat system. Tab targeting MMOs are all over the place and you either love it or you hate it. Guild Wars 2 is not tab targeting. It features an action oriented combat system instead that will require players to move, and to dodge and to switch weapons, it does a lot. It adds a lot of excitement and skill-based gameplay to combat encounters. And honestly, you're gonna quickly find if you give Guild Wars 2 a chance, that this is probably gonna be the most enjoyable element of the game for you. Just trying out the different weapons, rolling around, dodging, doing all sorts of stuff. The combat system in Guild Wars 2, in my opinion, is its big shining light, especially when you start fighting bosses. Number five 
player versus player content. Guild Wars 2 has several different types of PvP gameplay, including structured PvP, you know, your traditional battlegrounds and such, as well as world versus world combat. These modes both offer a unique and awesome experience that very few MMOs have. How cool is it to be able to get together with a giant army, go with siege vehicles and stuff, conquer territory. Not many MMOs give us this type of gameplay because it's so, well, it can be very laggy and it can be very stressful on the MMO servers. But thankfully, MMOs like Guild Wars 2, Elder Scrolls Online, give us the opportunity to actually feel like we're fighting in a proper war. And this is something that makes Guild Wars 2 a lot of fun. If you're into world versus world combat, that is. Number six, a personal story. No matter who your character is, and no matter what choices that you make in the beginning when you're creating your character, Guild Wars 2 has a personal story for each and every player, which will unfold more and more as a player progresses throughout the game. It adds a sense of immersion, it teaches you the lore, it introduces you to the greater world, and overall it just gets you more personally invested in the game's world and the characters. Speaking only for myself, this is not something that I have gotten to explore too much of on my characters that I've been checking out the game with, and it's something I'm looking forward to as immersion is a huge reason as to why I play MMORPGs. But so far, the personal story that I have had with my character has been a lot of fun. Number seven, no traditional healing classes. So if you've ever played other MMOs, there's typically a healing class or a healing spec. You know, the priest in World of Warcraft, the Jedi Consular in Star Wars The Old Republic, whatever it is. Now, unlike other MMOs, Guild Wars 2 didn't really want to have this sort of approach of having a really good healing class compared to other classes. To give an example, in World of Warcraft Classic, priests are the best healers in the game. Warriors cannot heal at all. How Guild Wars 2 approached this is they wanted to have no traditional healing class, meaning that all the classes have access to some form of healing abilities, and players are encouraged to work together to support each other in combat. It doesn't matter if you're a warrior, a necromancer, an engineer, all the classes can heal to some degree, meaning that everybody is responsible for everybody else's survival. And number eight, the world is alive and being updated. When Guild Wars 2 first came out, a lot of people thought it was going to be the WoW killer. And for a time, it was doing very, very well, but it slowly trickled off and kind of faded into obscurity. And a lot of people probably think that Guild Wars 2 has just been a dead MMO, but you'd be surprised. This game has continued to maintain a player population. It has continued to pump out expansion packs. I mean, goodness gracious, Blizzard pixel for pixel copied Dragon Flying from Guild Wars 2 and put it in World of Warcraft Dragonflight. Even to this day in 2023, Guild Wars 2 is still getting regular updates to the game's story, the world through these living world updates. New content is being added to the game, new areas, new events. It keeps the game feeling fresh and exciting for its player base. So yeah, maybe now with this video, maybe you see why people are giving Guild Wars 2 a chance these days. Guild Wars 2 isn't just some game that's currently trending right now for no reason at all. It's a game that's genuinely very good and it deserves the praise that it gets. And that's why, at least for me, it's been great to give Guild Wars 2 another chance.